Good morning everyone. Today we are going to look at the predicted cutoff for Tamil Nadu state quota for the year 2020 for MBBS admission. Now why I am releasing this predicted cutoff after so long after the results has released? Because I have not done in any predicted cutoff so far because I don't have any data to back up or do any kind of prediction. Today, this morning, we have seen an, an article from Times of India. Times of India has published an article and that shows roughly the distribution of candidates in each bucket, that is each marks range. They have published the number of candidates. So based on that, I have done a little bit of prediction because that gives me more or less some information that are real or close to real information. So this video is purely based on the data published by Times of India. Now, can we trust the data published by Times of India? Last year, they did the same. And the data was very, very close to what exactly the state rank came later on. So it might be very close. I'm not saying it may be accurate or it may not be exactly the same as the state merit list that might come up later, but it may be something that might be very close. So the assumption here is the Times of India data is close to the real state merit list that is expected at a later date. So with that assumption, I'm going into this particular video. Now, this is the data published by Times of India. So the source is Times of India, 30th October 2020. And I will provide a link to this particular article or particular um, uh, Times of India website. So you can go and check the exact data. I, I kindly recommend you to go and purchase today's Times of India. Look at these details because I think sometimes online may not have the exact data. So get the real paper so that you get the complete analysis by Times of India. So now let's look at the data, they have said there are about seven candidates in Tamil Nadu who have scored above 700 marks. About 198 candidates fall between 650 to 699 marks. About 824 candidates fall between 600 to 649. 1668 candidates fall between 550 to 599. And then 2,543 candidates between 500 to 549. So the data is there. You can take a look uh, at later. So these are the distribution of the candidates in every 50 marks range. And it is expected as the marks range comes lesser and lesser, there will be more and more candidates in that particular bucket. That makes sense. So this is the data based on which I'm going to do the analysis. Now what I have done. Based on that, I have rearranged the data and then I approximately tried to work out what is the state rank for an equivalent mark. Say for example, 700 marks. I told you that there are seven candidates above 700 marks. So approximately rank seven in Tamil Nadu will have 700 marks. This is the general rank. This is nothing to do with the community rank. We cannot predict the community rank now. We only purely look at the general rank. The 650 marks, I have given 205 rank. Why? Uh, let's look at here, say you can see here, 650 to 699, there are 198 candidates, and then 700 above seven candidates. So 198 plus seven, you will get about 205 candidates scoring above 650. Similarly, if you add all the three cumulative, you will find that about 1029 candidates have scored above 600. So that's the rank I'm looking at. So 700 will be around rank seven, 650 will be around 205. I'm not saying exactly, it should be close to that. 600 marks, 1029 rank, 550 marks, the rank could be 2697. 500 marks, your rank could be 5240. 450 marks, your rank could be 8316 and then so on. So this is approximately the rank or the cumulative number of people above a particular mark we are talking about. Once again, 
this data is purely from the times of india data i have rearranged the data that's all now let's also look at what was the cutoff in 2019 based on state rank once again let's compare the state rank now let's look at first the government colleges in tamil nadu so if you look at the 2019 cutoff the oc had 938 was the state rank bc 2246 bcm 2734 and so on now if you look at this oc cutoff of 938 and try to look where it might fit this year assuming that this year also the cutoff rank is more or less same because the number of seats has not increased in tamil nadu it's only about 50 government seats has increased and then there is a drop probably the number of seats might come down because of the implementation of 7.5% government school reservation which might take away about 200 seats from the total pool so we we do see that the number of seats is not increasing is actually slightly coming down so more or less we could assume that this could be the cutoff rank okay there could be plus minus it might come down to 900 it might go up to 1000 we are not sure but roughly we are talking about the oc 938 so if you try to fit in here so we know that it is somewhere between 205 to 1029 so naturally your cutoff is expected to be more than 600 so certainly there are 1029 candidates so certainly if you are an oc candidate you need to look at 600 plus if you don't have 600 plus i think it's going to be extremely difficult to get into government colleges maybe there is a possibility in semi government colleges or private colleges government quota but government colleges is going to be very tough bc let's look at 2246 now where it fits it fits somewhere between 550 to 600 so probably the cutoff for bc could be somewhere between 550 to 600 similarly bcm 2734 which is almost same as this 550 marks so probably the cutoff could be around the 550 mbc 3776 which is somewhere between 500 to 550 uh, sc 8538 so that's close to 450 marks uh sca 13739 it should be somewhere between 350 to 400 st 16775 that could be very very close to 350 marks so this is how i have worked out the cut off marks based on last year state rank and comparing to what is the predicted state rank this year that's the assumption and then look at government quota private colleges this last year the oc cutoff was 2959 so if we look at it could be somewhere between 500 to 550 okay so these are the uh, but we are expecting some increase in private colleges but once again some seats uh, will go to the 7.5% government school reservation so more or less we are looking at this range right around 3000 cutoff for oc could be uh, the cutoff and if that happens it should be somewhere between 500 to 550 if you are talking about bc it was about 4059 was the state rank last year if you look at that once again it could be somewhere between 500 to 550 bcm 5225 that's almost 500 marks right so that's the assumption and that's how i have worked out the cut off marks for this year the predicted cut off marks now let's look at what could be the predicted cut off marks This is the predicted cutoff based on my calculation based on my assumption with the Times of India data as a basis and last year state rank as a basis this is the basis based on which i have done the analysis this might be right this might go wrong i'm i'm not saying that this will be perfect but what i'm trying to convey here the information this will help you to take a decision for all india counseling now the all india counseling has stated lot of you are confused whether you should go for all india counseling whether you should go for deemed universities so all this confusion is there so probably this mark will help you to take a decision so 
anyway you need to assume that these marks could fluctuate somewhere between plus minus 10 marks there could be a fluctuation so keep that all in mind do your own analysis i have told you how i have done my analysis you do your own analysis okay now let's look at what is my predicted cutoff the oc candidates the cutoff in government medical colleges of tamil nadu could be around 604 marks it's certainly beyond 600 marks but it could be around 604 or 603 right that could be the cutoff and government quota in private colleges could be around 543 right so it could be around 540 or 545 but approximately around 543 bc candidates the government quota or the government colleges could be around 554 it could somewhere between 550 to 560 but i think it's around 554 and government quota in private colleges it could be about 522 marks bcm the government colleges will be around 550 while the private colleges government quota could be around 500 marks mbc mbc the government colleges the cut off could be around 527 whereas the private colleges government quota could be around 491 marks sc candidates the cut off for government colleges could be around 447 while the cut off for government quota in private colleges could be around 400 marks sc ea candidates the cut off for government colleges could be around 380 while the cut off for government quota in private colleges could be around 291 okay i have done a little bit of extrapolation here because the data is not available beyond 300 marks but more or less right once again we are talking about a close uh, guess a guess and then finally the st candidates the government colleges the cut off could be around 344 and the cut off for government quota in private colleges could be around 279 marks so this is my prediction based on times of india data now what do you think about this data do you think this is absolutely wrong this is insane because compared to last year we are talking about almost every bucket increasing by 80 to 90 marks last year we had about 100 marks increase this year we are talking about 80 to 90 marks increase is that even possible every year 100 marks will it increase right this is what the data shows and this is what my prediction comes to now give me your opinion what do you think do you think this is close or do you think we, we should ignore this data and then just keep quiet until the state merit list comes anyway i believe you need to use this only as a guideline for official data we must wait for the tamil nadu state merit list to be released because again there are a lot of variables involved i am assuming the last year cut off this year because of the 7.5% government quota reservation these numbers might again vary once again my best wishes to you go and take a decision whether to participate in all india counseling or not that is a purpose of this video to guide you towards that nothing else don't worry if your marks is not in this range this is not something final we need to wait for the tamil nadu state merit list my best wishes i hope to see you in some other video soon until then take care bye bye